Welcome back everyone to another Wudang Wei training video. Uh, congratulations on making it through yet another week. This week we've been going through cross stance. So in this video we're going to be reviewing, recapping, and throwing some of that in together with our previous basics that we've covered in the weeks before. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, first we're going to be going through a light warm up, a stretch, and then we'll be going through all the basic training so far. Let's get started. So let's get started first with a basic warm up routine. Okay, the first thing, we've always been starting from the ground up, and that's still a good idea, you know, we'll kind of go through these circle squats, relax the knees. But now that we've been doing this for a couple weeks, hopefully you're getting used to it. Also, we like to say that we try to follow nature. So in the winter time, it's a good time to start introducing more power into your training, uh, getting more stability and these strength basics. Okay, so what we can do for instead of the circle squat is we can open up our stance to shoulder width, Put our hands out in front of us and do straight squats down okay so we're just going to do motion squats so we're not going to stop at 90 degrees we're going to sink all the way down going one trying to hip hinge and keep our eyes forward and then coming back up try not to bounce just keep nice and slow and stable oh sinking keeping the knees right over the feet weight on the heels but still keep the toes in the ground done and driving through the quads Look. You want to keep your back straight. You want to try to refrain from leaning forward and getting your weight over the knees. You want to sink straight down. Okay? Then back up. Oh. Whoa. Ew. So this is just nice and relaxed just to kind of get the legs engaged. Cheat. And we're all the way down. Ah. Sit for a moment. Then come up. Go. Never lock in the legs when you come up. Keep you nice and stable. Sit. And up. Okay. Just a nice set of 10. Kind of shake out, relax. I'll always relax the lower back. That's where all of our strength and stability is going to come from. Okay. We can do some high knees. So twist, turn the leg. Trying to get the knee up to the elbow, so you're kind of twisting the waist and bringing the knee up. Turn and exhale, turn and exhale, alternating legs. It's nice and relaxed, just a slight warm up. Okay, and kind of shake out, relax. Then we'll work up and do some shoulders. So straightening straight up, turning to your side, dropping the arms, swinging the shoulders, relax. Well, Try to get your arms stretched out as far as you can. So relax the shoulders, swinging. Alternating sides, up, down in front, up and back, and relax. Nice and soft, stretching the shoulders out, and relax. Relax the shoulders, shake the wrists out, shake the legs out a little bit. Uh, hopefully you have time to go for a walk, kind of move around, go through some different things to get warmed up. Uh, we'll be coming back to that a lot, but just kind of get yourself ready for the next section. Okay, then we're going to go into some basic stretches. So first we're going to step out into our gumbu. We always like to start with the wide postures once you're warmed up, because then we can get into the hips, get into the lower back and start stretching. So remember, you can do left hand, left knee, right hand on the hip, on the back and driving down kind of the hip towards the ankle. So my left foot in this case. So, yi, o, ha, su, o, liu, chi, ha, yo. So then we're gonna pop the back foot 
up on the toes. So we're driving the heel towards the ground, but it's not touching. And the leg is straight. Both hands on the back. Eat. Oh. Ta. Shu. Oh. Shu. Eat. Ta. Shu. Su. Hands up, leaning back. Eat. Oh. Ta. Su. Oh. Shu. Shu. Ta. Shu. Su. Oh. And lean forward. And bring up. Oh. Can I shake out a little bit? We're gonna change sides. So the same thing on the right. Hopefully this is like your most common practice you do every day. And then opening up here, sinking down. Yeet, ho, da, su, ho, su, chi, ha, jiu, su. Up on the toe and twisting more to the side. Yeet, ho, da, su, ho, su, chi, ha, jiu, su. And stretching back. Yeet, ho, da, su, ho, su, chi, ha, jiu. So, reach forward and step up and shake out legs a little bit. We'll go back into one more, kind of relax a little bit. And then stepping out into our horse stance, we'll go through that stretch as well. These are all really good ones for our basic training. So hands on the knees, leaning forward slightly, inhale and press looking over the left shoulder as you exhale. Oh, change sides. That, change sides. That. Oh, dropping the head, twisting at the waist. Change to the right, pressing the left arm straight. Okay. Getting the stretch from the waist up the back through the shoulders. But yo and the right. So, come back to the center, train the legs, and come back up, shake up. Always kind of reset between sections. Okay. Okay. Then we're just going to relax the shoulders out. So, a lot of ways to do this. We're just going to start with real easy. Just chest open, hug, arms open. Chest open, hug, arms open. Chest, arms. Chest, arms, chest, arms, chest, arms. What I'm doing here is I'm just gonna swing the chest open. So squeezing the shoulders back to open, then just relax, hug. Then here, I'm actually gonna swing the back of my hand, just swing back and just try to relax. Swing in a level line. You should be clapping the back of the hands together Okay, if you can't, that's okay. Just kind of open the chest, relax the shoulders. You're kind of pinching between the shoulders. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Okay, then relax, shake out. That way you're pretty much relaxed all the way through. One more time to the lower back. Relax out. For our shoulders, pretty much everything we do is just keeping them nice and relaxed. We tend to hold a lot of pressure in the shoulders from small habits like working at the computer and things like that. So for us, we spend a lot of time just shaking the shoulders out, relaxing, getting them back to full range of motion. Um, because strength is something that you can, once you have mobility, then you can add strength practice uh, in many, many different ways, which we'll get to in later tutorials. Okay? So, then we've kind of gone through a little bit of a stretch. We're kind of shaking out and relaxed. Now we can jump into our drilling practice. Okay? First thing is first, we're going to go right back to Mabu, our favorite place to be. 
and go through some punching drill basics. Okay, so with me, feet together, take a deep breath, bend the knees slightly, relax, find your center. And then we're gonna step out, ready. One, two, three. Sinking down, hands on the waist, not on the legs. Then starting with the right hand. He. Oh. Done. Turning the waist a little bit without moving the legs. Two. Oh. No. Two. Oh. Two. So. He. Keeping the wrist flat. Eyes forward. Oh. Foot. Foot. Oh. Two. Two. Nice snapping out. Ha. Two. Foot. And a little smoother. He. Oh. Foot. Foot. Oh. Two. 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 Ha. Two. Two. Oh, then doubles. He. Ho. Sun. Sun. Ho. Changing sides. Doubles. He. Ho. Sun. 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 Oh, then so cross. And coming up. Do that together. Take a moment, shake out. And now that we've gone through our horse stance, we're gonna move right into our next stance, bow stance or gombu, okay? Uh, this stance, we're still gonna be going over the horse stance basic because we're gonna be using the left and right alternating sides. So we're gonna stop in the middle, make sure that you're still hitting that horse stance. Okay, so we're gonna start the same, feet together, uh, sunken down a little bit, deep breathing. And then we're gonna step out to our left, just like marble, okay? We do it. Then we sink, cross hands, step out, pull back. We're gonna start with left side mabu, so right hand out, twisting the right foot. You've got a flat fist, not vertical, horizontal. And then we're gonna turn back, ready. E, block off to the side, mabu. Then twisting the left leg. Pull, punch and reach the body forward. Then e, back to the center, moving the left leg, then moving the right leg, punching out to the left. Uh. Oh, center marble. Two, right side gumbu. Two, center marble. Ah, left side gumbu. Two, two. Really work on getting your horse stance open. One foot moving at a time. Yeah. Oh. So right foot into marble. Yeah. Left foot out to gumbu. Oh. That. So and the reverse. Oh. Two. Two. Ha. Two. Two. Oh. Two, just keeping nice and steady, pressing the back leg. Two, ha, keeping space on your block. Two, this out from the body. Two, shoulder down. Ho, ho, kind of getting more continuous. Two, two, ho, two, two, ha. Yo, so, okay, and then all together, he turn punch. Oh, turn punch. Keeping the head at level. So, through. So, oh, no, two, ha, yo. So, 
center across, left leg back in, relax. Now I want to give you a moment of rest while I briefly reintroduce the cross stance one more time, kind of go over a few other details that we can train to get started, okay? Because for the cross stance, I find that it's even training full time all the time with students here. People have a lot of questions about it. Sometimes if you're practicing on your own, you might be unsure if you're doing it right. You might even feel some discomfort or pain. So we really want to make sure that our posture and our alignment is really clear. So I do want to introduce it in some ways that you can kind of get into the stance so that you're not just overstressing yourself from the very beginning, because that's really important. Okay. So while we're warmed up, while we've gone through some of our basics already, what we can do is we're just going to step out with our left leg uh, in that kind of T formation. So the foot's open. Then we're just going to sink down in place. No twisting, just keeping the weight on the back foot. Right here, what we really want to do is we want to start in three stages for a stretch, okay? The first thing, you can put your right hand on your left knee, the top leg, and you can twist with your back straight, okay? This is going to get you used to the motion and get used to keeping your weight on your back leg. You might even feel a stretch on your right foot because the toes are pressed in the ground and you're stretching the arch of the foot. You might even feel that, which is fine. Okay, so we're gonna be twisting here for one step. The more this feels normal, the more this feels comfortable for the knees, and you can maintain this small space up here and larger space from the right knee to the ground, then we can start to lean forward, okay? So we're going to, instead of the hand on the knee, we're gonna put the elbow on the knee, the hand on the leg, and then kind of leaning down 45 and twisting. And then as that feels comfortable, then we can go into the full hug with the elbow crease going around the knee and full twist, okay? So that'll be the smallest one. But all throughout that, we want to make sure our weight stays on the back foot. Okay, so then we can come up and we can switch to the other side too. You know, take a moment to stretch and make sure that you're kind of ready to get into the posture. So we start with the, right, uh, the left hand on the right knee, twisting with a straight back, just kind of sinking down. Then elbow on the leg, hand on the thigh, twisting. You're sitting right on the arch of your foot, right on the Achilles tendon, that's perfect. Then twisting. Then the last one, we can lean the body down hug get your palm up and look okay so three stages hand elbow hug okay then once you feel comfortable with those you can do those a couple times as a repeat to just kind of stretch and get into the posture okay then we can get into our basic drill okay so for the basic drill feet back together we're going to start just really relaxed and the first thing we want to do is we're just going to open up to shoulder width so we're just going to open the hands open the feet to shoulder width and then we're going to start by twisting to the left Okay, so here I mentioned this a bunch of times. Don't grind your feet. You can pick your foot up. Okay, take a step. Don't just open the heel like a robot. You're gonna lose your balance. Okay, so you want to pick your foot up, open the heel. That way it's nice and relaxed and not hyper extended or rigid. Okay, so hands out, turn into the left. We're gonna open and go e, sinking down, hug, hand behind the back. Then all, oh, just coming back up, straight to center. We're gonna do it part by part. Then. Then open the right foot, step the left in, hug, sitting down. Then uh, back up to center, make sure you're in the center, relax, knees slightly bent. Whoa, turning, sit, hug. Yo, up. See how I'm taking it really, really nice and slow? Gee, you just want to make sure you're going down and stable for a few seconds, and then uh, up smooth and back to relax. Okay, so nothing this river really stiff. Yo, sit down. Uh. Taking a few moments between each one. Oh, drop, hug. Oh, back up. Uh. Drop, hug. Uh. Hopefully you're getting to the posture right as everything finishes. So, oh, you're sinking and hugging as you're finishing all the movements. Two. Two. Uh, up, unraveling. Two. And winding up. Uh. Then unwinding. Then we're gonna go a little bit continuous. E. Sinking down. Then just straighten your right arm and twist like a, oh. Rotate through. And down, nice and smooth. Up, turn, picking the feet up, sit down. Good. Twist, sit down. Never locking the leg. Oh. Turn the body. Sink. No. Turn the body. Sink. 
nothing in the arms, just loose chi. It's just twist around and they wrap up naturally. Ba, turn, down. Do, pick up the foot, open the ankle. Do, turn, and down. Okay, then so Come back up to center and relax, okay? Shake out a little bit, and that is going to be the basics for our Mabu, Gombu, and Shebu, okay? And now for our cool down. So you've gone through all of your movements. You've got Mabu, Gombu, and Shebu now. So you've got a good structure already. Um, I find that when you're done, whatever you're going to do at the beginning, you can repeat at the end and do like a slow cool down. Going through a few movements with breath control to relax, uh, kind of shake out, lifting the knees, you know, just going through something to relax a little bit is gonna be really, really good. So that way you're shaken out, you've finished, you've kind of brought everything together and returned back to a resting heart rate. That's gonna be really good. So take a moment to cool down. Um, next week, we're gonna be coming back with the drop stance. So we've got two more stances in the Back to Basics series to finish up with. And then we'll start using these in some actual patterns, some Qigong sets, some martial arts sets. So I know everyone's anxious to get into that, but do take this time to get your foundation really, really clear. I know the videos can be pretty repetitive, but I like to kind of drill these details in so that way you're very, very clear. You understand all the nooks and crannies and the pieces, how they fit together. So I hope they've been really, really good. I hope to see you back next week as we continue through this series. Take a day to rest and we'll see you back next week. Thank you for watching this video. Be sure to hit subscribe, check out all the information underneath. There you can navigate to the Ways of Wudam Patreon account. And by becoming a patron, you can get access to all the main channel resources around martial arts, Taoist philosophy, even Chinese music, in group classes, live streams, one-on-one -on -one courses, and a bunch of other stuff as well. So I hope you'll go check that out, and I hope to see you there. Once more, thank you for all your support. We'll see you in the next video.